Tips and tricks if you're experiencing bladder pain and symptoms related to endometriosis or other pelvic pain or bladder related conditions. These are some things that I've tried that have helped me personally. Um, the first is that after I was diagnosed uh, with endometriosis, I was told through that deep excision surgery that I had that they did see a nodule of endometriosis inside my bladder, but they didn't remove it. So previous to surgery, um, just for context, I was experiencing bladder symptoms and what that looked like was uh, frequency and urgency. It felt like I could hardly hold very much in my bladder. Um, it would be uncomfortable on borderline pain when my bladder was full um, and actually would hurt during um, passing of urination. And then after for a little while, it would be super uncomfortable, like almost worse than when it was full. Um, and then it would slightly go away. Um, this was very different from any UTI I had ever experienced. It wasn't quite the same. It was a lot more painful and I could feel it in my entire pelvis really. Um, and so after surgery, I was put into a flare up because of surgery, because of having to have the um, catheter where it lasted me literally months and months and months. And then um, honestly, to this day, it hasn't fully gone away, but I've done some things that have helped and I would like to share them with you guys. So the first thing was that after deep excision surgery, which obviously removal of disease is important, but the next thing was I had in-clinic procedures. I had several of them. I wanna say somewhere between five and 10. So I had to go in clinic every week and I can't remember the exact name, but it was something along the lines of rescue solution. I think it might've had something that was numbing similar to lidocaine, I'm not exactly sure. And um that was like, it was like a solution that was put in through like a cystoscopy type of clinic procedure and the solution would go in and come out and um, like numb my bladder. Now that did help, but it didn't permanently help. It was like a temporary solution for me personally anyway. Um, the next thing was that uh, pelvic floor physical therapy helped some as well. Um, and then uh, lastly, like the biggest thing was I learned what my food and drink and lifestyle aggravators were. So I am aware that when I'm during a cyclical time, like ovulation or my period, I'm a lot more sensitive. So I have to avoid citrusy type of drinks and, um, food and because they really, really flare me up. And actually everybody thinks cranberry is great. It's not, um, necessarily in this situation with this type of, um, condition. Uh, all right. Next up is an antihistamine diet that will help with bladder pain and symptoms. There's research on it. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments.